IT Region League play. Uh, single elimination tournament. Uh, round two game. This is game uh, two of the best of three between Eva and Zeng, as we are affectionately calling him. So we'll keep <laughs> this one off. Right. No, whoops, I already had the thing set up. There we go, there we go, we're back. Alright, so down here in the bottom left, in the teal this time, is Zeng. Up here in the top right, our blue Terran hero from the last game, it is Eva. So, big map, cross spawn only, very large distance to cover. Hmm, I'm expecting some sort of... Either it's going to be a, a nice big macro play and quickly rushing to three bases, or it's going to be a two base uh, timing, just because that's how I always played these maps, and it worked out well for me, I suppose. Yeah, taking taking um, that third is that third is pretty far away, and it's pretty awkward to try and have to defend such but if you're a large area at the same time. Yeah, if you're playing mech though, and you push forward off your natural straight down that ramp. All you have to do is chuck a couple of turrets down there, or a depot or something, and you've got that sort of third lined up. Like, they have to push towards and in between all your expansions the other way. Yes, indeed. You oh, can get some go. nice tank lines Gas as well. Gas first is spotted by Zeng. Probably see Banshees, because there's no... There's very few ways I can not justify not getting Cloak. For me, you have to go cloak because you don't have to pay for siege mode anymore. Like, yeah, it's and... just, it just makes it that much better and makes them have to invest in some form of detection. So yeah, you get and that down. I really feel that um, what's it called? Both players going out for the scout as well. I feel it really feel the TVT favors the aggressor early game, early and mid game, but late game it really favors the person who's sort of sitting back, having the first couple of shots and looking for the good engage. Yeah. So the we'll, we'll see how sort of late the game early aggression bit, works. Man. We'll see how the early aggression works because uh, it's going to put his economy down, especially on a big map, and it's a long distance to go to put on some aggression that your opponent may already be prepared for by the time that you know he scouts out your base. Both players checking. So factory in, coming down. The scouts about to go about to the next place. Uh, factories come down. Supply depot should be coming next, unless he wants to get supply blocked. And depending on what, if he takes a second gas, if he takes a second gas, then it's definitely going to be Banshees with Cloak or Raven. If he doesn't, then it's Marine Helling Elevator. Yeah, so we're going to see Cloak Banshees probably. I'm calling it. Yeah, it's, it's pr pretty common at this point. Either that or it's going to be that uh, nifty Raven and two tank drop that's been so common in the meta these, uh, these past months. Everyone's just been doing it since they saw it at a tournament. Gotta figure out what Eva quickly was. dropping. <laughs> Eva dropping his expansion now, so he's taking a much quicker expansion. And I don't think Zen, yeah, Zen got his scout denied, so it didn't actually see anything of what Eva's doing. So he has no idea. He's playing blind into him at the moment. So I have a feeling that this starport, um, when it makes the banshee, is going to have to be the main player uh, in finding out what's going on, unless he wants to drop a scan this early. But I think he wants to stay away from that. And curiously, um, uh, look at this though, Eva is just building up that DAS. He's uh, not uh, banding on that barracks a little more with a reactor or something, rather he's just saving up a hell of a lot of gas. And he did see, yeah, he should definitely be dropping an engineering bay right now, because there's no way he's going to beat him to getting a Raven out. Even though how big this map is, he's, there's no way he's going to get about it. So he's going to have to start saving scans and just pumping SCVs, and maybe drop, he, well he definitely needs to drop an engineering bay and get some turrets up in there. Mineral lines. Um, I think he's playing it really, really brazen. Oh no, he's just making a medevac out of his starport. So it looks like he's changed his mind and is going to Marine Hellion Elevator. Maybe he's going to follow it up with Banshees. Still hasn't taken his third, uh, his natural though. So unless this attack does lots of damage, he's going to be quite far behind. Unless it kills the CC, I think. That's what he needs. So he's dropping the engineering bay. So Eva's playing it very safe. Probably see him go into maybe just one, two turrets in a mineral line. Well, one turret in each mineral line and one turret above production. Stop it being sniped. And a Viking coming out straight up. So we see him moving out with just one medevac and a drop. Uh, he's making his Raven next. 
he definitely expansion also coming down so yeah he's just gonna take a late expansion it looks like and hope this drop does a lot of damage um i think it's a bit odd to chuck on the tech lab unfortunately i think that really held him back a bit personally yeah. i would have gone the i would have gone the banshee there's just no way you can get about it like the banshee would have been there but at least by now if he hadn't done it yeah it would have forced a couple of scans out as well that have been mules and would have just set even that little bit more, a little bit back because he's he already had the expansion, so you might as well make him waste his oh, hands. Oh, this drop denied. takes one down, takes some damage from the Viking. So yeah, we'll probably see him try to move this drop around. Um, probably going for the natural. Oh, unloading beforehand, he's just going to try to walk it into the natural. This drop, the, he's still freaking out about this drop and rallying more and more stuff back there. He doesn't have a lot of production yet. So, this drop could do a lot of damage, no matter what. So it's coming straight into the natural now, there's nothing guarding it, only this viking here to spot it. Did it I don't even think it spots it. No, no spotting so far, he knows it's coming now. He has to know, he's pulling units, he's pulling SCVs away. Two SCVs go down straight away. Tank is sieged, he's doing some damage, he kills off a turret, that's a big chunk of this early. Now here come the marines, stutter stepping away, vikings taking pod shots. Again, he's got- oh, if he gets that medevac! Not does get away with the boost. And his natural is now taken for Zen, so we'll see him start to probably just start macroing it out. He knows he has to be sort of putting him on the back foot, but the economy is still fairly in Eva's favor. He didn't do enough damage with that push, and it was a pretty large investment to get denied that quickly and easily. So i definitely like to see him start denying some vision, definitely popping in between these two towers. And maybe even just keep floating medevacs in because it's not, not like he has them on the outer side, out, outside turrets. It's sort of only on the inner turret. And after killing that turret in the bottom, if he can keep that up and keep denying it, I think that would really put him like start to make him chip drastically in. But we have a Hellion scouting out that he has his natural now. The Marines coming down to defend uh, two tanks and a Raven. So that's a pretty good army so far from uh, Zen. Getting a little supply block there though. They're both on pretty even supply, so they're recovering nicely. You know, uh, what's, what's the unit count looking like? Well, you know, Zeng's got a bit of a lead on the tanks and marines, but you expect that having to, gone for uh, early aggression. So it's pretty similar. It's just uh, who's going to have the better gameplay in the long run, or who gets the uh, best engage in their first encounter in the middle of the map somewhere. So we see... Eva's got his uh, CC done, he's moving that into his third CC into an orbital command, so he's probably going to start pushing out now. And we'll see him take a little bit more map control just to guarantee the safety of the third CC. Um, again, he's playing pretty safe, the armory coming down to get those upgrades going. Um, I'd like to see them invest faster into the tank splash, because I think those are really crucial upgrades. Um, in any matchup, especially TVT, that sort of splash really comes in handy. He's now starting to set up missile turrets. Uh, rings to stop drops so he can stop investing so much of his army in the back of his base uh, making more and more um, barracks now he's pushing out now huge force but it is spotted by that watchtower it would be nice for him to start clearing watchtowers prior oh he's gonna start swinging in will he grab it will he grab it oh, he's got the Viking One Viking goes down, down but he loses but he loses the entire drop now uh, that's a lot of an investment. If he can start sieging up now against hard against those rocks, he definitely stands a chance. I definitely wouldn't want to let him up the ramp unless, of course, he can siege now and have three shots of straight splash on it. Be really nice. Um, definitely needs to start sieging up now because he needs the early splash to get it at oh, done. Zeng. He's starting to split up his tanks. Uh oh, oh, losing both. almost oh, losing oh, a oh, back oh. Oh. He's overextending. He's overextending, oh, pushing Zeng. down the ramp. He knows. He's just thrown it. He's he's just thrown. All of his damage. He now, Eva can push up this ramp with impunity. There's nothing that is going to stop him from getting up there. He's dropping marines on top of the tanks. Two seeker missiles on the one tank. Nice marine. And he's dropping more marines. That. And he's take. He's pushing in now. Eva's going to bring up his other tanks. He's got the marine lead. He's got the Viking lead. All he needs to do. He's got the tank ready. If he can just micro back into it, and he has plus two on the way, so he's got one one all done. Both players have one one done. No, it's just plus one done for uh, Zen. So he's pushing up. He's rallying units across. Oh, he Raven! Him. Oh, that's a huge pickup on the Raven. 
no other tank out yet. He's queuing up tanks, but he looks like he's going to try to end it now. He's going to start sitting on a production soon. GG, GG is, is called. If it takes a nice 2-0. Very nicely done indeed. Massive rallies coming across the map again from Eva there. And he already had that uh, third base starting to drop. So just, uh, just bad engagement by Zeng there at the front. Just overextending that line. Trying to get those tanks before they sieged. And, and luckily he didn't get it. So he gets knocked out of the tournament 2-0 by his teammate. Beautiful. Oh, that's it for us. We'll hopefully be back with another one soon. So uh, enjoy. Thank you very much.